Scotty Pippen Jr. speaks on his career night against his father legendary team, the Chicago Bulls. Check out the video. Scotty, can you just can you just put in the words, you know, what this kind of moment means, not only for you but also for the team overall? Because it seemed like everybody got something accomplished. Everybody worked together to get this win. I would say it's a great win. You know, we came in here, especially hard to play in the road. Um, came out with a lead, so trying to finish off that lead. <laughs> uh, but no, just a good win to you know finish off this road trip well. Um, get us back home to the home stand. Um, you know, the ball was moving tonight. Everyone was involved, so definitely a good win. Um, when you have it going like that, what does that feel? What does that feel like? I mean, it looked like you were back at Vanderbilt, just yeah. dictating on both ends of the floor. You had your defense there, but obviously the offense was working too. It feels good, you know. I feel like I was getting my teammates involved. That kind of just helped get my offensive game going because you know if they were helping, I was making the right reads, and you know, I just felt like I had a good all around, all around game. When you get this kind of love and this kind of attention from these guys, yeah. obviously, man, <laughs> I mean, it has to feel good. You yeah. know, two years ago, you know, you were still dreaming and climbing yeah. to get to this point. Yeah. Now you get to this point and prove, hey, you had it all. Along. Yeah, I think it's still it's a dream come true. You know, it's crazy to say I put 30 and 10 up in, you know, a gym where my dad had played. You know, I still can't really put it into words. Um, but, yeah, this is a dream come true. So. And this comes right after the, the triple-double he was there for in yeah. Memphis. Then you come back with a career high in the building where he played, too. Just reiterate that one more time, man, what that means to you and your family. It means everything to me and my family. You know, I talked to my dad tonight about coming here and playing, you know. He knew it's a dream for me to go here and play. You know, I got a lot of family here in town. Um, so he just told me to go out there and just kill. So you know, that's what I try to do. You know, for this team to put together this kind of effort collectively like this, does this pretty much epitomize what you guys have been working on since day one of training camp? Uh, definitely. I think I think you can see it every game how, how much we get much better at it. I mean, we got a couple guys down, but, you know, any guy that steps up and takes takes the, takes the lead. I mean, Scotty, obviously, at 30 and 10 tonight. Uh, I think it just shows how, how our offense works when we're all working together. Eight players in double figures, uh, 38 assists. You shot 54% from the field. You know, can you just sort of describe what that rhythm feels like when you guys are all sharing that and everyone's eating? Uh, yeah, I think it feels good. It, it gives you energy to just keep going, um, especially when it's working. Uh, we have a lot of movement on the offense. You know, people get tired, but, but when it's working, you know, it just gives you motivation to keep doing it. Um, and it also fills you on the defensive end, too. So I think it all just, it just, all just positive. And, and lastly, I mean, your confidence never wavered. But for you to have a game like this career high 28 points, what does it do to sort of validate the work that you've been putting in? Uh, yeah, I think it's just, just sticking with it. Um, you know, have ups, ups and downs in games. Um, just making sure that, you know, I just keep the same effort on the defensive end and I just know it's going to come on the offense. Game. Some of the guys, the way you guys did from the very beginning of this game, what was, how important was that in terms of coming out? You got two quick baskets in the game, and that pretty much dictated what you guys were able to do the rest exactly. of the Exactly. I mean, like, that's my job coming out star and just to come out and help the – Help the other guys set the tone, come out, run, pace, play, play hard. Yeah. Yeah. How much uh, can a win like this, building on what you guys did against Philadelphia, kind of carry yeah. you guys forward? And move? I think it's huge. I mean, you know, every every game is huge. Every every win is huge for us. Um, you know, we got some uh, games here coming up that we can win, like all of them. So I think it's a good time to get on like, a little run right here. Taylor, when you think about pace, principles, and possessions, does this pretty much epitomize what you guys have been working on since training camp when you look at the offense? Yeah, I mean, uh, credit the guys. We had a great practice yesterday. I thought there was great carryover, carryover into tonight's game. We knew this was going to be a hell of transition offense versus transition defense. Um, I thought we did a stellar job with our ability to transfer from defense to offense, um, especially in that third quarter. Guys coming off the bench, I thought they did a phenomenal job. I thought Scotty Pippen was phenomenal tonight. Uh, him and Jalen, especially point of attack defense, but then how they were role changing and getting to the offensive end. And then we told the guys when we're not, you know, building our transition defense early, we're just kind of backpedaling and letting them see seams, you know, Giddy attacking, the Sumu attacking, Levine attacking, you know, that's when we got into trouble. But I thought we corrected that stuff pretty quick on the fly uh, in the second half and, you know, had a great run. It was, I mean, we scored 40 plus points in the third, but they were making their run, you know, scored, I think, what, 38. Uh, but did a much better job to close out the quarter. So overall, you know, I thought our three P's were key tonight offensively, and then you know, pretty pretty much until the very end of the last couple of minutes, our game plan uh, defensively was really well executed. What was the mindset and the resilience that was necessary? When, when every time they made a run, it seemed like you guys countered with another run. There was answers every time. Yeah, we talked about it this morning. Uh, talked about it at halftime. Even talked about it in the second half about we just got to be poised. You know, in these moments, we want to try to avoid giving them a run. You know, have quality possessions, not be stalled out. Uh, I thought you know, keeping the engine moving, which we talk about. 
about keep it running in the half court. We did a much better job in the second half than we did in the first half, despite scoring 60 plus points. I thought we could have done a whole better, much better job in the second quarter. Um, but I said, hey, if they're going to go on runs, we're going to try to cut it off. But if they do, just stay poised, know what our response is going to be to that. And as I said a moment ago, I thought we corrected when we were making mistakes early in that third quarter to uh, kind of build that you know 20 plus point lead. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video, Hoop Life Family.